that there's a process with the city clerk. They're the, sort of the guardians of that, of that process. And you prepare the, the, uh, the statement. You have your appointed board, board members that submit it to the department, and we move it up to the clerk, and it gets attached to the city council. My concern is what's with I mean, we've had these impact statements come in prior to having anybody in any position to oversee these impacts. So what is, just in a nutshell, what are they doing that's any way that's different than the way things are being done now? I guess that's my question. So you're wondering what's the impact of the of the committee impact statement? What, what is what you know we're starting the process? You're talking more of the process, um, Michael. How it's happening now? Well, right. We're, we're getting impact statements as they are. So right. And we're sending it to the city clerk. As you see, I think it was something that in our lady had requested from us to have two. It is right. Right. It is usually that's part of the process. But it's usually in. Now, on 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 an issue with when you're dealing with the council member, and and so whether they in turn say you know because we received a hundred community impact statements on this issue. We're going to vote a certain way, then you've made a difference. I don't know if that was your question. Well, um, it's still any impact statement comes back to the board, correct? Or, no, or, right. or, or, or our representatives making the decision for the board. No, Michael, I think you misunderstood. Yeah, okay, um, I, yeah, I don't understand. Do you remember the DWP statement that you brought forth to the yeah. board? And then we discussed it as a special meeting, and then we voted on it. Yeah. Okay, so
get to the dates. Uh, that's basically it on that. Okay, so on the treasurer's report, I have seven. for my late attendance this evening. I have just getting off of work and I had a long travel. Uh, but I, with item number seven, uh, we'll start with item seven A, uh, which is regarding the purchase card uh, purchase card authorization or purchase card holder. Uh, I will start off by motion and then obviously we'll enter into the discussion. Uh, so the main motion, uh, as I'll read it, uh, as, I want, as I'll express it verbally, would be that the treasurer would retain the card and that the second signature would be uh, responsible for handling the paperwork, bookkeeping, and accounting. Thank you. 
What you're asking is for something that, that's going to happen in the future, correct? Um, but, but wait a minute, here's my question. Anthony, you will now be the P card holder? Yeah. Continue to be the P card holder? The way the motion was written, I can like enter into discussion, but before we do that, we have to have a second. The rules indicate that a main motion is stated from the floor. Now, yes, it is written a certain way, and it has been posted, but that only qualifies us to meet our Brown Act requirements. The way it's verbalized, the way I mentioned it, is the way the main motion should be addressed. I can't amend it at this moment because you can only amend after a main motion is in place. So the main motion, once again, is that the treasurer retain the purchase card and that a second signature who would do the bookkeeping and the accounting would be appointed. That's, that's the, the motion main motion. The that's the, the main motion that's on the floor, not what's on the paper. Forget what's on the paper. Listen to the words from now on. That's the main motion. You need to sign. So, what she's going to be the same signatory, and then the treasurer is going to be the second signatory. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.
motion when it hasn't been brown at like uh, yeah. So why is it so why is or you know it's been bolted. I okay it's been what? It 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 okay, exactly. Where? Let me see right here. That's not the person that you're reading. Hold on. Hold on. This is the problem of making motions in writing and very specific. This is a very specific motion that's saying that Tammy is going to feed it. Now that's the main motion. Once the main motion is seconded, then you can do an amendment. Right? In this case, the problem is that now you want to amend with two people though. And we have to choose between the two people, is that correct? No, it's changed. Who is the one person? Tammy will be the second signatory as she currently is, so we've already voted. Because that's not what the motion is saying. Yeah, that's not. Right. No, no, hold on. But that's not what the motion is saying. We're going to amend it once it gets No, no, no. Hold on. Well, see, that's where I'm confused. What, what does the motion say? Somebody explain to me what the motion says. The, the, the signature is part of this motion? It's no, because no, no. That, was, that was the title for this. The motion is to have a second person have the P card. That's the, that's the original motion. The problem here is now, Anthony, apparently, now you just don't want to be responsible for the documentation. Is that correct? That's what the second signature would be, correct. Okay, that's the new motion that you're saying, but that's it's not what's written here. Can we table that motion? Yeah. We'll have to take it back to the executive Just put a second on it. There's no second in that. Yeah. Okay. So, Leila. Uh, no, I, I agree with you. I think it is confusing because it's a
And I asked about this in the past, and um, my committee was looking for the opportunity. They didn't approve this flyer, they didn't approve the painting of this flyer, yet it was changed. And again, it was done by Mangano, who had the key card, and said, yeah, we'll do it. So I was concerned about this, this is happening in the NC, and nobody's, you know, I was concerned about that. Right? What is that money? How are they used? How is the key card used? Are everybody having a say somewhere? How's the flyer changed on the board side where none of the who none have decided on this flyer prior to it being approved? None didn't have to about it. Didn't even know about it. I know that the IP are in it. So I know that they didn't have no idea that the flyer was out there. So I question that. These people haven't been doing it as much. It's already, the table in there is questionable. So just so you know. The receipts that they have for this and that were not approved. I I, it's nothing against you personally. No, no, I'm not saying the receipts that. Okay, so at this point, the motion was to put them on the order. Is there any point on the order that you can discuss with the board who have questions from Mr. Montano in regard to the missing receipt? Okay, well, I, I would like to know uh, how those receipts get lost. Were they in your hands and you lost them? Were they <laughs> never turned in to you? Or the people that had them, that did not turn them into you, that they lose them? How did it become the missing link? Uh, directly speaking to item 7B, which is the missing receipts, we have found that uh, over the last year, uh, I think 13 months, there's a total of four receipts missing. Two of which uh, never came to me. So it was for uh, an event at the Kite Festival and Johnny's Market. Uh, the other two were turned in. Uh, which was for the 99 cent store and for I believe off the keyboard, the NR training. What committees were there from for those receipts? The committees were the uh, Arts and Culture Committee and then the Beautification Committee, yes, the Community mm -hmm. Bar. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, but I, I thought they would be available here. I've been running around a lot. I didn't have them available uh, to the president. Last week, I made them available on Friday. So, yeah, the total of four receipts have been missing, two of which never came to me, two of which I turned in and have been misplaced either at the department, neighborhood department, or just one on located. Uh, Let's go from here. Okay, I have not seen the receipt. Yes. Um, didn't you purchase? So, didn't you give us purchasing? Yes, of course. So, shouldn't you have received the receipt? Those receipts were about activities, like the Kite Festival, we went to Subway. Right. And when we made the purchase, uh, either the receipt stayed with the package in the car, in its place, but there was a purchase directly related to the tech festival, purchased from Subway for $216 that day. Okay. But, but there was, you know, with several people doing those transactions, I was there, I passed the card over, I was able to get the documents, we walked out with managers, and we have an event to go to. I usually put all the receipts in a large folder, I don't know if you guys seen there walking around, and by the time I took that folder to downtown, there were four receipts missing. So you it was accidentally. It was accidentally. There's, there's not, not, nothing to be. Some people say, oh, you lost a receipt, and they might want to start continuing that there's fraud, that there's a misuse of public funds, that they're not doing proper account bookkeeping. But all these transactions are on the internet, they're on the bank statements. Uh, John is aware of them. You guys approve them. Basically, there's just a receipt, which is a physical, tangible piece of paper that done these for audit purposes. <laughs> We spoke with the auditor, and they said after our best efforts, we're unable to locate the receipts, just make a motion saying that we're aware of the purchase, we know the dollar amount, and that the board would approve the purchase basically without a receipt in hand. Okay, so question to that, Nathan, just so you can clarify. Don't we need a resolution for that so that we can find? Uh, I think that's what this motion is attempting to do. Right, but, but yeah. there's, I thought we had a time here. So we can yeah. have a resolution. So resolution will, will be prepared after the board vote. Okay. Um, the other question I have, Dana, in terms of, I was at the Dunn original meeting, you were there. We were supposed to get, um, I know that, that this packet should include the bank statements in lieu of receipts, and I don't see them on there. Is that correct? Um, because how other, how can we compare, like, in other words, this is stating that these receipts are missing, but where are the bank statements right. that go along with the support of the purchase? Exactly. Right. Um, that would be, that, yeah, that would be, that would be included with, um, you know, the paperwork that we submitted in this department. Right, and um, this is with the board of But this package is going to include the next thing? 
I didn't include the bank statements in the package specifically because when I spoke with uh, Maximo on Monday, uh, over a week ago, uh, internally he could get the bank statements at the department. So I know, but the board has to review the bank statements. I don't know how to get onto the, onto the account to print out all the bank statements. That, that was one thing that I had to do. But the SI gets a record of the whole year of transactions of bank statements. It's, it's not so much that, it's just to reflect the receipt and that way it'll just clarify that you don't have to do what the transaction so was done. The actual bank statements that I get mailed to my house have been turned in. They're done. Well, so you so get them at home. You, so, so the board uh, on um, October 21st?